Hi everyone, I'm Isa. I'm a data scientist and also a product manager here at Jay. And today I'm going to be showing you the beta version of our new application, which is basically an analytical data lake automatically pre-processed by deep learning and pre-trained models. And the main advantages of this kind of approach is that it allows us to build several applications with AI, such as the no-code fill missing values um, already shown in a previous video, and the Omni search that allows you to perform semantical queries in any type of documents. So stay tuned because there is much more to come. Um, and starting here on this first login page, if you already have an authentication key, you can just use it here to enter the tool. But if you're not uh, registered yet at J, you can come here to the sign up page, put your first, last name, and your email, click and create account, and you will be receiving this authentication key on your email. So let's enter the tool. Um, basically, here in this first page, uh, we can see our data lake and the files that we have already uploaded on it um, and some information about these files. So here we have um, the name of the file, the data in which it was uploaded, the size, the type, and we can delete it if you wish to. And in the following weeks, we will allow a folder organization um, in this lake too. So again, stay tuned. Um, and as you can see here, the type of files that we are accepting right now um, is PDF, text files, doc sheets, and also CSV files and Parquet files. Um, so let's just upload here some documents so we can see how this process is made. Um, yeah. and. As we can see here, the name of these files is presented in a light gray color, and this indicates that the file is being pre-processed by J. And you can see, you can check here the pre-process bar. Um, and after this part um, comes to an end, uh, the name of the file will become uh, black. And this indicates you that you can use the file in other types of actions, such as the Omni search and on the field missing, for example. Um, so why are the preprocessing is happening? Let's just come here and play a little bit. Um, so I'm choosing here a file that we have already uploaded, which is the uh, blindness book by Saramago. Um, so let's make a question to it. Uh, what can we learn from this book? And as you can see here, the name of the book um, is in Portuguese. So the book itself, it's in Portuguese, but we are making the question in English, uh, which indicates a very nice characteristic um, of this, this application itself, which is that um, it is multilingual. Um, so we, he, we can see here the parts of the book that it was used to give the context of the question that we are making here. And this uh, parts of the book will be used to build the answer itself. So let's see here if the answer is it's nice or not. So this book teaches us that we should not take for granted the struggles of others, even if they are not our own. It has also shown us that the, the importance of understanding and empathy, uh, as well as the consequences of not taking responsibility for our questions or sorry, for our actions. Finally, it emphasizes the need to be aware of our own limitations and to strive for a better future. Um, so it gives us a very nice uh, answer based on the pages of this book. So let's check here if our files has ended the preprocessing. Yeah, so as you can see, they are ready to use. So we, we can come here. And another nice um, characteristic of it is that we can make questions um, related to more than one document. So we're going to we're going to be choosing here two documents, um, and one of these documents is it's in Portuguese, the other one it's in English, and we are going to make a question: um, What is J? And wait for the answer. So it is bringing here the parts of the document in Portuguese and in English that it's choosing to build the question, build the answer, sorry. Um, and here we have the answer. So 
J is a no-code application that automates data cleaning and classification using AI. It identifies irregular patterns in data and stores their machine representations, um, vector embeddings, in a unified store schema. J also allows users to fill in to fill in missing values and new categories and consolidate legacy ERPs and non-standardized inputs. Changes are automatically staged into a checkup table for human inspection and the corrected and richer data feeds back into the company's data fabric. J is 10 times better than manual processes and has great unit economics with usage base with usage based revenue on top of of a monthly fee uh, which is a very very uh, nice structured answer right um, so just to summarize a bit more our lake architecture and api will allow you to have access control keeping the registration of all users that have used and that have modified any of the stables here um, we uh, will allow you to have um, an extremely ease to perform file sharing, um, file searching, um, and file query, as we have seen here, um, and also data treatment with the field missing, for example, um, that we have seen in the previous video. So that's it for today, guys. Um, I, ho I hope you have enjoyed our demonstration. Um, and if you have any questions, you can talk to us through our Slack, our support email, or our social media. Um, and stay tuned for more updates on our applications. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.